Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about another lecture on coordination chemistry. In previous lecture, we are discussed about like labile and inertness of the complex compounds. Now in this lecture, we are deal with uh, like a uh, substitution reactions in octahedral complexes. Substitution reactions in octahedral complexes. Okay, in this lecture, we will deal with uh, substitution reactions, how the, the mechanism, the mechanical pathway of the substitution reactions, how many types are there, so we will discuss each and every type very clearly. Okay, so generally substitution reaction means one of the incoming group replaced by the, like a leaving group, then it is called substitution reactions. So one group is replaced by the another one, then it is called substitution. Okay, now the substitution in octahedral complex, that means here the six ligands are oriented in the octahedral manner so one uh, among the six one is uh, ready to replace that is leaving group okay now here it is re ready to replace then it is a leaving group now the incoming one that is a nucleophile so incoming one which which replaces the x group now here l l l l l here y okay so now y which is replaced the x position now uh, here it uh, it appears okay now here it is a uh, present now x minus as eliminated x minus as eliminated so now here x and y both are ligands both are ligands okay now so the negative charged species are called ligands ligands okay ligands or nucleophiles the negative charged species are called nucleophiles okay so generally y replaced by the x then it is example of a substitution reaction now whenever the nucleophile substituted the reaction then it is called a nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reactions okay now here our ligands act as the nucleophile then it is called a nucleophilic substitution reactions okay now one of the ligand which replaces the uh, like after hydral environment uh, one of the ligand okay now here it appears here it is appears now whenever the uh, leaving group uh, then it is called a leaving group now here it is called a uh, incoming nucleophile or entering group incoming one or entering group okay so whenever uh, the remaining or uh, unaffected with the uh, like leaving group capacity so these five ligands which are unaffected to remove the, these group okay then it is called a inert ligands then it is called a inert ligands so the re uh, remaining five are inert ligands if it is possible so the opposite ligand will provoke the like elimination of these x group then it is called a spectator ligand then it is called a spectator ligand so now in this case uh, the spectator ligands we, uh, we shall not discuss over here so the spectator ligand uh, we will discuss the like a trans effect uh, like inner sphere uh, out sphere mechanism okay now here this is the simplest uh, mechanism the simplest uh, introduction of the substitution reaction now how the substitution reactions uh, will move on okay so the pathway of the substitution reactions generally three types one is a dissociative mechanism dissociative mechanism that is called the capital D, which is denoted by capital D. Now the second one is associative mechanism. Then simply it is denoted as A. Third one is interchange mechanism. Interchange, that is I. So again the third one, which is, uh, again it is classified two types. One is interchange dissociative mechanism, interchange associative mechanism. So in these four manners, uh, the nucleophilic substitution reactions occurs. Okay, now we will discuss uh, one by one very clearly. Now the first one is a dissociative mechanism. Now let us discuss the dissociative mechanism. First one is dissociative mechanism, which is simply denoted as capital D mechanism. Okay, so the general representation of dissociative mechanism. So this is the octahedral complex. Here X indicates it is a leaving group. Whenever the first step here, the X group is eliminated. Now here it may be charge over the complex is plus one now the x eliminated as x minus and that that means here metal having the one more positive charge that means the n plus one that means n, n plus one now in the second step so that uh, like a ml5 n plus one which is a 
reacted with the incoming one is like nothing but a nucleophile y minus so now which occupies the like a vacant orbital vacant coordinate site of the our uh, starting material now here it forms the m m y bond m y bond so in this first step so like an octahedral site will become uh, like a coordination number five that means coordination number five will be, will be decreased coordination number six to coordination number five so in first step coordination number will decrease so in case of coordination number five we have the two types of geometry one is uh, like a trigonal bipyramidal geometry another one is square pyramidal geometry okay so according to the activation activation energy studies square pyramidal is more pr predominant than the trigonal bipyramidal geometry trigonal bipyramidal geometry so many of the substitution reaction will proceeds through the square pyramidal intermediate only square pyramidal intermediate only this is the first point now the second point here in this case mx bond fully broken mx bond fully broken before before form the m y bond is it right or wrong okay so now so here before the formation of m y bond m x bond are, are, are completely broken completely that means uh, it, it completely breaks now in this case of third point so here according to the kinetic studies it is a slow step reaction it is a faster step reaction why because the bond breaking it requires more and more time now here breaking of the bond it requires more time so after the creation of vacant site any of the ligand which is readily replaces doesn't matter which which requires a strong nucleophiles which requires a lesser nucleophiles which requires a moderate nucleophile here already vacant site is present that vacant site will fulfilled by the any one of the ligand that's why it is a faster step so according to the kinetic studies uh, slow step is called rds that means a rate determining step so in in the above case uh, first one is a slow step so for a slow step uh, which is which helps to predict the rate of the reaction generally rate is directly proportional to the rate of reactant is uh, directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant concentration of the reactant so now here the concentration of the nucleophile does not affected on the uh, rate constant it does not affected on the rate constant as well as rate law so now here the concentration power is only one that's why it is called first order kinetics first order kinetics now the fourth point is it follows first order kinetics first order kinetics so generally uh, like a uh, comparison of organic reactions now here it is alkyl halide so in case of uh, the uh, trigonal planar intermediate then we used the uh, nucleophile now here it forms the racemic mixture so like it it is the racemic mixture so another formation here it is uh, alkyl halide so now the first step uh, nucleophile will attack over there here both uh, leaving group leaving leaving group leaving like a uh, breakage and uh, making of the incoming one both takes place simultaneously both takes place simultaneously now after it gives the like a opposite chemistry that means inversion chemistry okay now here if the lesser number of coordination site it is sn1 mechanism so here the more number of coordination site it is sn2 mechanism now here so uh, the comparison of organic reactions with uh, our reaction so here it forms the lesser number of uh, intermediate less number of intermediate that's why it follows the sn1 mechanism it follows the sn1 mechanism here sn1 stands for unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction now the another point is okay now the sixth point is like a, it follows the like a energy profile diagram energy profile diagram so when we plot the energy of uh, like a uh, reaction coordinates versus uh, energy potential energy here it is the reaction coordinates now reactants having this certain energy that will uh, that will appear so over here so now it it up uh, it gives the like plot like this it will gives the plot like this now here it is intermediate this crossover barrier is intermediate now here it is product so in this starting case ml 5x plus y is there okay both are uh, individual components now here ml5 x plus y here three individual components are there now here ml5 y plus x minus plus x minus so these are the reactant this is the like a uh, intermediate now here it is the product okay the final point is here it may be possible 
it may be possible to isolate the intermediate to isolate the intermediate okay these seven points very helpful to uh, define the dissociative mechanism now i, I repeat the all the points uh, i revise all the points and now the first case so here ml phi x uh, here it readily loses the x minus n it creates the lesser number of uh, coordination number that that may be it possible two types of intermediates maybe one is a uh, trigonal bipyramidal another one is a uh, square pyramidal among these two uh, the square pyramidal is more predominant due to the its uh, requirement of less activation energy now in the second case after the creation of a vacant site any one of the ligand which replaces the their vacant site which fulfill the their vacant site now here it creates the octahedral environment now here octahedral environment retains uh, like a final final of the reaction okay now here mx bond fully broken before the formation of my bond so now the slow step is the rate determining step here rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant only it does not affect on the concentration of nucleophile okay in fourth case so with the above kinetic data will give the information about it follows the first order kinetics so according to the comparison of organic reaction it follows the sn1 mechanism due to the lesser number of intermediate lesser number of coordination number intermediate now the Sixth one is energy profile diagram. We'll use the information about uh, it, it, it having the certain intermediate that uh, that having the lesser number of uh, coordination number. The final one, it may be possible to isolate the intermediate. Now let us go through the associative mechanism. Now we will discuss the second mechanism that is. Uh, associative mechanisms associative mechanism which is simply denoted as a okay so in this case like a previous manner now here it is mx l5 okay so in previous case uh, the first uh, uh, like a mx bond cleavage takes place now the where uh, it forms the less number of uh, coordination complex that is less number of coordination intermediate now here the incoming ligand uh, firstly approaches to the central metal atom now here it forms the m like a x it is a y l5 okay now here it forms the uh, seven membered coordination number intermediate now coordination number is seven now here coordination number is six okay so now the next case among these two so the x group is eliminated here it forms the ml5y so finally we will get the same product but the uh, the way of uh, it proceeds is different so in in previous case uh, uh, like a mechanism follows the dissociation now in this case here mechanism follows the association okay so now the second point uh, uh, from over there mx bond uh, uh, fully broken then after uh, my bond is formed now here my bond and my bond entering and mx bond leaving both takes place simultaneously both takes place simultaneously okay so now here mx bond uh, mx bond entering my bond uh, M mx bond leaving my bond entering both takes uh, simultaneously okay now the according to the kinetic studies uh, now here so uh, in this first case uh, here the ligand is entered now the second case uh, one of the ligand is leaved okay the one of the ligand is breaking so now according to the kinetic studies uh, here rate concentration will depends upon the like ml5 x as well as incoming nucleophile now here the power one here the power one the sum of the powers which is nothing but order of the reaction here order is equal to one plus one two okay that means a uh, second order so according to the pre uh, kinetic studies it follows the second order kinetics it follows the second order kinetics in previous case it follows the uh, as dissociative follows the first order kinetics now the fifth point over here now here the fifth point is uh, it follows the sn2 mechanism okay that means uh, here the both uh, uh, entering group and leaving group uh, uh, entering group uh, uh, formation leaving group breaking uh, both takes simultaneously then it follows the sn2 mechanism we already discussed over there okay now the sixth point is energy profile diagram before going to that now the coordination number seven here it gives the two types of uh, intermediates those two types of intermediates like this now here here it is a pentagonal 
bipyramidal molecule or another one is a monocapda here x and y x x x x x so here one of the one of the coordinate site one of the octahedral site will forms the bond with x as well as y both at the same time both at the same time then it is called the monocapda octahedron structure monocapda octahedron structure or it is called octahedral wedge structure octahedral wedge wedge structure okay so these two are possible according to the like a uh, activation energy studies here the octahedral wedge wedge complex formation is very easier than that of a uh, pentagonal bipyramidal that's why many of the association reactions follows through the octahedral wedge complex mechanism okay so this is the reactive intermediate over the coordination number seven now the sixth point is energy profile diagram so in this case energy profile diagram here it having the reactants now it proceeds to the some intermediate here intermediate mlx5 xy ml5 xy now here the reactant ml5x plus y now the product ml5y plus x okay so now here there is no number of ions in previous case we will get the three ions ml5 plus x plus y now here only one ion only one complex is there so now here the reaction coordinates versus potential energy diagram seventh case here also it is also possible to predict the to isolate the intermediate to isolate the intermediate so now these are the seven points regarding to the associative mechanism so i repeat the all the all the points uh, once again now here the first case uh, and, and uh, nucleophile enters into the octahedral site so in in this uh, in this case uh, coordination number seven is formed that means more number of uh, intermediate is formed so here uh, in the second step uh, here the formation of uh, my and uh, breaking of mx both takes us uh, simultaneously at that point repeated over here now the third point according to the kinetic studies here both reactant as well as nucleophiles will depends upon the uh, re rate, rate law or uh, like a order of the reactions sorry rate law equation okay now based on that we will get the order is equal to two. that's why it follows the second order kind of takes according to our previous mechanism it follows the sn2 mechanism now the sixth one is a energy profile diagram now this final one is a, it, it it is possible to isolate the intermediate now let us go through the final one that is interchange mechanism Okay, now the final one is uh, interchange mechanism. Interchange mechanism. So interchange mechanism means uh, here uh, there is no uh, stable intermediate. So not uh, identify identified or not isolated any stable intermediate. Stable intermediate. This is the main point. Now here does not form the like any intermediate. That means uh, here it proceeds through the it proceeds uh, through the like a transition state transition state so that means it may be activated complex or it may be activated complex okay so generally ml5 x okay whenever the ligand entering into the group then here it forms the like a ml5 one group is uh, like a uh, uh, breaking another group is making now here ml5 this is the complex now here it does not forms the any stable intermediate that's why it is a, a transition state the, uh, finally it follows through the transition state and now we will get the ml5y ml5y plus x minus okay so transition state cannot be uh, like a, an intermediate that's why here it follows the single step mechanism it follows the single step mechanism so such type of characteristics were, were observed in case of interchange mechanism again interchange mechanisms are classified into two types one is interchange associative mechanism another one is interchange dissociative mechanism so let us discuss the interchange further classifications and now here interchange dissociative mechanism that means i suffix d okay right suffix d now here i suffix a so that means interchange dissociative mechanism so in previous case dissociation means mx bond fully broken in previous case okay before forming the my bond now here my bond begin to form the begins to form the to form the bond okay to form the bond before 
full broking of full cleavage of uh, mx1 okay so are you understood uh, it it is very clear so in previous case mx1 fully broken uh, then after the my bond is formed now here so before completing the mx bond cleavage my bond is ready to start the like a uh, formation of my bond forming it's forming okay mx bond now in case of uh, in associ associative mechanism okay so mx bond ready to uh, like a uh, mx bond uh, begin to break the bond to break the bond before before forming of my bond completely my bond complete okay so whenever the mx bond are ready to break before the like uh, before the complete formation of my bond then it is called interchange associative mechanism in both the cases uh, do not uh, isolate any intermediate do not isolate any intermediate so these are the like interchange mechanism so now we discussed the uh, all all type of the mechanisms uh, in substitution of octahedral complexes one is a uh, associative mechanism another one is a dissociative mechanism final one is a interchange mechanism so the same mechanism will follow the uh, square perpendicular uh, square planar molecules we will discuss it after some times so the square planar substitution reactions okay these are the very uh, useful mechanisms uh, which are uh, pillars of the reaction mechanism chemistry like a coordination chemistry okay thank you for watching